Hello everybody. Welcome back to Gardenish. We are at the very first week of August and we are sitting in the garden now. I am going to enjoy a lovely beverage along with some lovely leftover pizza and I'm going to take you guys with me while I try to get this thing back into shape. Uh, we had some major storms over the last few days and when I talk about major like I have friends whose roofs were completely like part of them torn away and it was a bad deal. Lots of lots of wind, lots of rain. This little garden has taken a batter, like a batter and a beaten. So um, I'm just gonna go through. We're gonna pick some things and we're gonna trim some leaves and see where we're at and see if anything's happening from our uh, seed planting for the future fall garden. And yeah, let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's see what we got going on. Let's go for a walk. told you how sensitive tomato plants are. There you go. Gosh darn it. All I wanted to do was put it up in this towel. Well, I guess I'll do that from here. Dang it. That was not supposed to happen. Ew, that one's grody. We're going to pop him off. things. Alright, let me go put this up. back by here in two minutes and find about 10 more. They hide, I guess, and they're camouflaged really well. 
that. <laughs>
Yep, that's what happens when you don't come out for you don't come out for a few days because of the weather. That's all right though. Let's get rid of some of these junks. We'll see what we can get off of these. Cucumber plants, something it is. Lots of roly polies. Little pillworms. Lots of those floating around. get to tell you guys about was this whole trellising situation these tomatoes the ones that I just broke a limb off of these are indeterminate tomatoes so what that means is as long as I offer them support they are going to keep growing up okay indeterminate means they don't have they don't have a, a end of time you know, as long as you keep supplying them a way to go, they're going to keep going that way. Now, determinate tomatoes, those are the short, the short tomatoes that don't grow any higher than a specified um, height. So, I just wanted to tell you guys that because these are starting to come out of my shade cloth. And that's why I think I'm going to take this shade cloth, put it above, um, maybe do that tomorrow morning if the sun's going to be out. It's starting to sprinkle right now. It's a good thing my lovely Nick got me this whole beautiful setup because I now have a waterproof camera and I can be out here when it's doing this spitty stuff. So this is one of my stakes. It broke in the wind. That's how bad the wind was. I had actually pulled the shade cloth. It had been pulled off and it just, this stake just broke in the wind. It was unbelievable the amount of wind speed that we had roll through here. I was really worried about those green beans flopping over. It blew over all three of my planters that were on the uh, pallet fence. That's why those are no longer there. They're actually on oh, my crooked little table. I have to fix that. I got too much weight on one side probably. Anyway, they're all down here. Most of the stuff has survived. Lost some basil. I end up taking it in to dry it, and I'm using that in some of my bug spray. So, um, but yeah, it was a, it was something, man. I still haven't gotten this here, uh, this chicken wire. I told you I was gonna put up. I haven't done it yet. That's okay. But look, they have some beautiful roses. Look at that. The lovely things. And there's our sign. The lovely things make me smile. All right, let's clip some uh, tomatoes off of here. Some of these are going to be yucky because I haven't been out here in time, but that's okay. Like that, I'm going to salvage that. I'm going to cut that open. Even though it's got those holes in there, it's these damn little roly polies doing it. <sighs> anyway, I'll rinse them real good. Get the roly polies off of there. Cut that top off. I'm still going to have a good tomato from that. 
I'm not scared of it. This one's gross. Okay, that's really ick. 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 Oh, now we're gonna have tomato seeds everywhere. Woohoo! Volunteers everywhere. I don't even know what's going on with this guy. He was not in good shape for a long time, so I'm surprised that made it that far. See, that one's got a hole in it, and that looks pretty deep. Toss it out to the deer and the critters, because you know what? If they've got stuff out there, maybe they'll stay out of here, right? So, pulling these off. Don't look too bad. This was that janky cucumber that I left on for a while, and I think it helped actually save. I know it took some energy for that to grow, but I think it saved some of my other cucumbers that I've gotten off of there because they were attacking that crappy one. from if they're uh, sweet 100s or what but I'll take them and then some of these pear shaped ones I had those last year I I better not set these down these really pulleys are getting them done well this year so far. You can always do better, of course, but you know what? At least it wasn't any worse. Take the good with the bad, right? Okay guys, you are obviously off of my forehead and I am going to finish up a couple things out here because it's starting to spit a little bit more and I hear some rumbles of thunder in the background. And hopefully you have a great one and I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you and I will see you on the next video.